ladies and gentlemen, we have created the ultimate gaming laptop setup. What we have here is a single ultra-wide 3840 by 1600, 38 inches in size, all powered from a single portable machine. But whoa, 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 let's roll back a second here, all the way to past tense markers, who hasn't actually seen any of these products yet. Because when Alienware reached out to sponsor a video, I was incredibly excited. Because for years, I've been trying to put together pretty much the ultimate gaming setup. And for me, I would absolutely love to have something that is all powered by a machine that you can take with you anywhere you go. Pretty much max out every title. If you want to play cyberpunk with ray tracing, you can do that. But then when you're gaming at home, not feeling like you have to compromise just to get that portability. So we're talking the full fat desktop gaming experience with a key keyboard, a mouse, super high resolution monitor, but fundamentally a machine that can actually drive it without you having to feel like you're missing out on something. This has always been a really difficult thing to achieve, but the reason that I'm so excited is because I think that 2021 is the first year that you can create the ultimate gaming setup without having to essentially compromise on anything. The heart of the setup, and of course the star of the show, is this, the Alienware M15. And I think that if I were to say Alienware make arguably the best looking gaming laptops on the planet, there would be very few people that would disagree with me. You've got a really nice blend of that gaming aesthetic that a lot of people want in their laptop, but it's almost mixed with a little bit of like high fashion, almost slightly timeless, which isn't something you normally get with gaming laptops. It's pretty much all made out of metal as well, so there's not any flex here. You've got a nice brushed effect to the front. There are plenty of ports on this thing, most notably being the full-size Ethernet jack on the left-hand side. On the back, you have USB Type-C with Thunderbolt. You also have a mini DisplayPort 1.4, and then an HDMI 2.1 port. So pretty much any display, regardless of whether it's a TV or a monitor, it can be as high-end as you like, and you can actually drive it from this thing, which is pretty cool. What else do you get in the box? you get some exciting paperwork but then something that is a lot more dramatic we have a very big power brick this is a 240 watt power supply which is really important because it's what's actually going to enable you to properly unlock those rtx graphics and keep it fully juiced up essentially it's the simple things in life isn't it you actually get a little bit of a led in the power cable itself so you know whether you've plugged it in not quite sure how i'm out of breath from plugging in a power brick i promise it's nothing to do with the power brick itself I am just uh, not very fit, as you can tell. And you remind me every video. Oh look, we've got a little bit of peel action going on here. We love a peel on this channel. Even apple peel. I love that. Are you ready for the big reveal then? I have not yet turned this on. Our power button is actually the Alienware logo, which is a nice touch. And there you go, Alienware. RGB keyboard, of course, this is 2021, what do you expect? You know straight away when you got a high refresh screen. That is responsive, baby. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. That's interesting because pretty much all the laptops I've actually tested so far have been English, so you get this really strange English woman that's like, Hello! Welcome to setting up Windows! Now I feel like I'm in New York. What do you guys make of the design though? I would love to hear from you on this. Do you think this is as elegant as gaming laptops come? Do you think this is something that you would actually want to have on your desk and take with you from place to place? Or would you prefer that they did it slightly differently? Do let me know in the comments below. That's right, I can rhyme. I've just come back from my lunch break while I got all of the games installed. It was chicken soup if you're interested. And of course that now means it is time to see how this thing performs as a laptop. Can it handle our laptop gaming session? I just went to play and then realized I was missing something. I definitely need a mouse if I'm gonna play Valorant. So here we're using Alienware's 610M. This is a fully wireless gaming mouse. And it's one that can actually reach up to 350 hours of use on a single charge. That's a lot of gaming. We're also using an Alienware mouse mat? All of the gear? No idea. Our first game then is Valorant. And as I say, this is a game I do actually like to play at the moment. And here it's between around about 300 and 500 frames a second, depending on the map and whereabouts you are in game. But the thing with this laptop is that it's actually rocking a 300 hertz 1080p display, which means that you can actually use all of those frames. And the end result is that this is just so smooth. I mean, this is actually better than what? 99.9% .9 of what people are playing on on a desktop. So to be able to get this on a laptop that you can take with you pretty much anywhere that you want to go is ridiculously impressive. 
Depending on your budget, there's quite a few different SKUs of M15 that you could go for. This one's also rocking an 8-core CPU. This is an Intel 10870H, but obviously it depends on how much you want to spend and the level of performance that you're looking to achieve. But the time to up the ante has arrived. Cyberpunk 2077, ray tracing on Ultra, how will it fare? Well, the answer is remarkably well. Here we have a really difficult part of the game. It's right in the heart of the city. There's a lot going on. But even with ray tracing and DLSS, we're still able to pretty much crack that 60 FPS. It feels really smooth for Cyberpunk. I think I actually played it around about 55 frames a second, so pretty similar to this to be honest with you. And it's a game that I did really enjoy despite the bugs. And this is exactly why I say that this has been such a big year for laptops. Because to be able to play something like this wasn't really possible on the previous generation, let alone with ray tracing. It could be done, but you're always going to have to compromise by turning the settings down. But again, this is 1080p, max settings, ray tracing and DLSS, and it can handle it. But here's the thing. For me, I want something a little bit bigger than this. I don't want to be limited to just a 15 inch screen, no matter how many hertz it has. I want something that I can use out and about, on the go, anywhere. But when I'm sat in my studio playing the games that I want to be playing, I want the fully maxed out experience, something that a larger monitor would need to provide. I said this to Alienware and they suggested sending out the 25 inch 1080p 360Hz monitor, but I said no, I want to go big. So fast forward around about a week or so and this arrived. The 38 inch gaming monitor from Alienware. Something that uh, fits the size bill quite nicely. My poor partner had to live with this ginormous box in the living room for the last couple of weeks and she wasn't very happy about it. But I said that it's for the video and that she had to understand. She didn't understand. And I know I'm going to sound very spoilt here, but ever since I used a 38 inch monitor a good three or four years ago now, I've always wanted one that's this big, but also gaming, because the first one I used was for productivity, had too much input lag, and it just wasn't really suitable for gaming. So I'm so glad that you can actually get something like this right now. I think I might need to move my plants. Grab your little stand, slide it on, use the little thumb screw, and done. That is, you can't even see me, it's that big. A very wide monitor. This is the most ridiculously overkill video I think I've ever done. More importantly, in terms of specifications, this has G-Sync Ultimate. It is 3840 by 1600, so essentially like a 4K monitor, but with some of it chopped off. And I haven't really thought this video through because how on earth am I gonna film me gaming on this? I think that this is gonna be okay. It's always hard to know, but we're just gonna to have to go with it. This is the 510K. This is a keyboard from Alienware, full RGB, mechanical, the works. And then of course, last but certainly not least, we have the 510H gaming headset with 7.1 surround sound. Ooh. Right, I think we now have everything on our desk and ready to go. And I wanna make sure that this is very clear that there is no wizardry here. We have everything connected to our gaming laptop. The only thing left to plug in is the monitor. Display 2, Dell AW3821DW. Refresh rate 144Hz. Extend our displays. And there you go, one absolutely huge monitor ready to play with. And of course you can use both at the same time if you want. Personally, if it was me, I'm happy to just use the one, but it is entirely up to you if you're a huge multitasker or you wanna have a video call whilst you're gaming or something like that. And obviously having the flexibility of two screens is fantastic, but because this is so big, I think having half and half is probably more than enough for most people, but maybe you are just greedier than me. If this is not the ultimate Game Anywhere setup, then I am yet to see it. Remember, 3840 by 1600, 144 hertz apex legends all powered from a laptop as we jump out of our ship then at absolute max settings we're getting around about 70 frames a second at very much near 4k resolution to be pushing this many pixels all from a gaming laptop is ridiculous especially when you bear in mind that now we've touched down we're getting anywhere between around about 75 and 100 fps it is crazy and that's not to mention the immersion that you're going to get from something as big as this i've been using a 34 inch ultra wide now for around about a year and a half and i honestly 
miss the 38 inch form factor so much. The next game that I wanted to test is this. Forza Horizon 4, another one that I seem to be playing a lot of. Did you know that they actually have Battle Royale in this? 72 players, seems to be very addictive. I have actually won it once now. But here's the thing, this is obviously a little bit easier to drive than some games at the moment, and we're able to get 120 frames a second at almost 4K resolution in ultra-wide form, and it's just glorious. Like, this is probably a more immersive experience than playing downstairs on my 4K TV. It is just insane what having all of that ultra-wide resolution can actually do for immersion, especially with a racing game like this. This just looks absolutely phenomenal. But because you have all of that extra smoothness, Xbox Series X, eat your heart out. This is just so much better than the console gaming experience. It is ridiculous. And obviously, yes, you could get a higher frame rate if you plugged in an RTX 3090 desktop into this monitor and potentially get more out of it. But you're really not having to compromise on much at all. And this is the beauty of a setup like this, because there are plenty of people out there that would love to buy a gaming laptop, but then would feel a little bit shortchanged if they did have to play on like a small screen all the time or have a little bit of a messy setup. So to see something like this at this high resolution, at this refresh rate, all powered from the laptop, Honestly, it's been something I've been waiting so long to actually be able to do. I, I'm just, I just feel incredibly lucky, to be honest, to actually experience this. But ultimately, the question does go out to you guys. Do you think something like this is exactly what the doctor ordered? Is this something that you would love to recreate yourself? Or are you already on team laptop, desktop, and you're really happy with how you are? I would absolutely love to hear from you. If you want to check out any of the products that were featured in this video, then of course you can find them linked below with my Amazon affiliate links. But a massive thank you to Alienware for actually sponsoring this setup and making it possible. For you guys who are watching, smash that like button if you've enjoyed it, get yourself subscribed, and until then, I'll see you in the next one. Oh,